I always wonder what runs through Max's furry head when I grab my keys and head out the door. We've all seen those big puppy eyes looking at us like we're heading to Mars rather than just going to work. Today, we discuss doggy thoughts and feelings about our everyday comings and goings. As much as we'd love to have a direct line into our dog's minds, I mean, who wouldn't want to hear all those thoughts in full, adorable doggo lingo? Instead, we have to rely on science and observation to get the scoop. And let me tell you, the discoveries are as heartwarming as they are intriguing. Psychology Today says dogs really do miss us like crazy when we're gone for a long time. They've got these fMRI scans that show dogs get the whole time thing. After two hours, they're way more excited to see us than if we had just left for a half an hour. But after four hours, they hit this sad little plateau and just sit there until we come home. So dogs don't just start missing us, they ramp up the missing vibes for two hours before settling into waiting mode. Now, you're probably wondering if they're only missing us or just anyone they're used to hanging around. Science has checked that out too. They tested dogs with three different smells. They're human, someone they sorta know, and a total random. Pups love that familiar human smell. They even chill by the door for a while after they couldn't sniff out their human anymore. Didn't do that for the other smells, though they were a bit more into the familiar person than the total stranger. Forget any old fashioned notions that dogs don't have feelings similar to ours. How your pup woefully howls when you step out of the abode isn't just for show. Studies involving brain imaging technology shows that dogs have similar emotion centers in their brains as humans do. Mind blowing! When you leave the house, your dog may experience a jumble of emotions, including anxiety, sadness, and of course, a sense of missing you. Of course, each dog has a unique personality, so while some may sleep until you return, others might be on high alert, listening for any hint of your car in the driveway. Oh man, let me tell you, my Max takes it super personally when I skip out the door. Shoes look like a chew toy convention. Toilet paper does its best imitation of indoor streamers. Or suddenly, there's a little doggy treat on my couch. <laughs> yep, your four-legged buddy might just be freaking out over you leaving. So yeah. Separation anxiety is totally a thing for our pals. Imagine a little kid losing their marbles when mom pops out for a second, but swaps out the tiny human for a fur ball with a tail. When you head out, it might as well be the end of the world for them. See, dogs and time are not best buds. Your piecing out could be a minute or a month to your pup. It's like their heart goes into a blender of worry and stress when they see you grabbing those keys. And how much each dog shows it can be as different as their quirky little personalities. There's the remodel the house vibe with all that destruction, the opera of barks, maybe a little pee on the Persian rug action, or the saddest one, the chew my feet blues. Dogs are all about their routine life. Breakfast at dawn, walkies at dusk, belly rubs on demand. Smash that predictability to bits and it's like their world goes topsy-turvy. They're left wondering if this is the time you disappear forever into the no treats land. Next time you think about it, give them an extra snuggle. They're just loving you hard, like chew up your favorite sneakers hard. Dogs are total pack creatures, like their ancestors who used to hang out and do everything together in the wild. They kind of need their squad to feel okay. Imagine how it is for them to live with humans. We become their new pack. So if we bounce and they're all by themselves, of course, they will feel a bit blue and miss the whole gang vibes. Okay, let me get this straight. Dogs don't keep track of time by looking at the clock and counting minutes. They're all about living in the now, you know? But they do get the hang of our daily routine. If you grab your keys and head out at the same time every morning, your furry buddy gets that and waits for the welcome back moment. But if you're late, don't sweat about them thinking it's been ages. It's more like they're just thrown off because you've messed with the regular game plan. Dogs are like super sniffers. They get to know the world one sniff at a time. When you step out, your smell sticks around like a cozy blanket for them. It's comforting and a reminder that you'll be back. And get this, they can tell the difference between the people living there and random strangers just from the smell. Dogs are brainy and they need stuff to do just like we do or else they're gonna be bored out of their minds. They will get bored if you leave them with no toys puzzles or games to play when they're on their lonesome and believe me my board max a mischief making dog so keep them entertained and they'll be way happier than flying solo let's try to make some educated guesses when you're about to leave your dog probably has a moment of oh no 
Not this again, followed by a flurry of, Are you going to the magical place where treats come from? Will they bring back a treat? Oh, what if they find a new dog? Yes, the FOMO is real for dogs too. Some dogs might go through a little checklist. Watch the door, check. Listen for footsteps, check. Wait impatiently, check. Occasionally sigh dramatically to emphasize the point, double check. But once they realize that you're gone for a bit, their thoughts might shift to something like, well, guess it's time to sniff every square inch of this place, or nap time. Then, probably, even more dramatic sighs. So what are the warning signs that your dog misses you? Every dog has its own vibe, whether they're cool with being alone or can't stand it. Each pup's different. But how does your furry friend handle it when you're not around? If they're the type that just can't deal without you, you'll definitely spot the signs. Does your doggo demolish your shoes or pillows when you're out? Or maybe it gets all whiny when you're heading out the door. Or give that door the saddest puppy eyes ever after you've left. And when you get back, zoomies. Look out for these little hints and you'll have your answer. Every dog has its own way of saying, I miss you like crazy. The bond between you and your pup doesn't have to suffer just because you lead a busy life. You can do a boatload of things to make separations easier and keep your dog feeling loved and secure. Dogs are creatures of habit, and they find comfort in routine. Keeping your coming and going at consistent times helps your dog adapt and understand that, yes, you will come back. Whether it's a specific treat you give them or certain phrase you say, having a ritual can reassure your dog that this is just a temporary thing. Leaving an item that smells like you, such as an old t-shirt, can provide some comfort. It's like a scented security blanket. Giving your dog exercise before you leave can tire them out, so they spend more of the day resting rather than whining. Toys, especially puzzle toys filled with treats, can keep your dog busy for hours. Who has time to miss you when there's a peanut butter filled Kong to conquer? Leaving the radio or TV on can provide comforting background noise. Some dogs appreciate the sound of human voices. It's like having company. Finally, Dog cameras and treat dispensers you operate from your phone can help you stay connected with your pup even when you're away, offering comfort to both parties. No matter what their day was like, for most dogs, the best part is clearly when you return. Their vitality isn't all about the walk they're hoping to get. It's genuine love and relief, and they missed you. Their thoughts might be a whirlwind of, you're back, you're back, everything is awesome again paired with an intense need to smell every part of you to figure out where you've been. It's their way of catching up on the day's gossip. Ah, I smell coffee shopping. Is that a cat? Scandalous. So the big answer is yes. Our dogs almost certainly miss us when we're gone and celebrate when we return. This relationship is mutual. We're not just imagining the connection. Keep loving your pups. They love you back even when you're away. Does your pup also have a unique attitude? Let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss the excellent content I send your way.